Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and in this video, I would like to talk about herpes. Believe me, if you are going to follow whatever I'm going to say in this video, you are going to get results. That's for sure. This is what I'm confident about because I have seen results in many of my patients. I will share with you two of the case studies of my patients, what treatment I give to them. Apply the same on yourself and see the magic happening. I'll tell you about the diet, what to avoid, and I will share with you just name of one single herb that you have to use if you are suffering from herpes zooster. So let's start with the first case study that's about a young male adult of 34 years of old. He was suffering from chronic and active herpes. Every week he was having herpes and it was in the groin region mainly but when he started applying creams and lotions given to him then in the groin region it suppressed but then it moved to the backside means near to the waistline and backside of the body but he was suffering from herpes every week or every next week you can say and he was so fed up of this that he even took the hard medicines that are for herpes and those medicines are not at all good for your liver he himself told me that after taking those medicines for four or five days he started having pain in the right side near to the liver and the stool was liquid he was in fear as well as Pain. He had tried every single thing. This is about the first patient. Second patient was an old lady of about 60 years of age and her herpes even came to the eyes. Yes, herpes can affect your eyes, your vision also and this old lady was having this issue and again it was recurrent with her also so what was my line of treatment for both of these patients first was about diet i said to them to avoid these products which products first is almonds second is cashews third is garlic yes i said to remove the garlic from the diet even i say that garlic is antibacterial antifungal but over here why i said not to use garlic because these products will increase the arginine in the body and increase in arginine can trigger herpes and then herpes will start creating problems in the body so any product that has arginine we will remove it from our diet second is peanut yes this guy the young one he said to me that he loves peanut especially in winters he just eats them a lot not peanut butter but just peanut so anything that's made up of peanut you have to avoid either it's peanut butter either it's whole peanuts so avoid using peanuts then pecan it's a nut this also you have to avoid next is chocolate any kind of chocolate dark chocolate this chocolate that chocolate any kind of chocolate avoid them next is gelatin you have to avoid gelatin also plus you have to avoid seeds all kinds of seeds pumpkin seeds chia seeds any kind of seeds just avoid them so we have to avoid these what we have to consume try to consume the food products that are rich in vitamin c as guava bell pepper sauerkraut oranges pomelo not pamela pamela anderson is pomelo it's a fruit so <laughs> anyways <laughs> Another is grapefruit, anything that has good amount of vitamin C, use it every single day, not a lot, little bit as per your comfort, start using it. Now the name of the herb that is best for herpes, the name is Moringa. Moringa powder, I have seen tremendous results. For all of my patients who suffer from herpes, I give them the same recommendation. It's for free. I'm giving it over here on this YouTube channel. Apply it. Write me down if it doesn't work. Only thing is you have to follow the diet that I have told. You have to live a healthy lifestyle. This is what I said to them also. You have to cut on junk and you have to eat healthy and you have to do exercises. Moving back to Moringa. Moringa powder you have to use every single day. Day. it should be organic it should be without chemical and should be of good quality moringa leaf powder you have to use how to use start using it 
half teaspoon every single day you can mix it in water it's not going to be tasty so add half lime to it squeeze half lime mix in a glass of water also add half teaspoon of moringa powder to it mix this all well and drink it between two meals means between your breakfast and lunch or between lunch or dinner as you are comfortable uh, empty stomach you know it creates issues with the stomach and it's not so comfortable why i'm saying so because i myself drink moringa and my patients also who drank it i ask their feedbacks and the same thing happens with many people so try to consume it between two meals not empty stomach in the morning another thing in what you can mix your moringa powder is buttermilk just take half teaspoon mix it in buttermilk add little bit of salt little bit of cumin seed powder as per your comfort mix it all well make it tasty interesting drink it and that's it if you will drink it with buttermilk it's going to be more beneficial because you'll be getting probiotics prebiotics also you will have much better effects on your digestion and no problems with your stomach in the starting some people can feel little bit of discomfort it is because your body will be getting moringa powder first time so maybe it will take a little time to adjust that's why we started with half teaspoon for a week you have to take half teaspoon and after a week you can move to one teaspoon don't go above one teaspoon it's like three to five gram it's more than sufficient and only one time in a day you have to use this eat more vegetables this is gonna help you reduce carbs reduce sugar just doing these things will help you you don't need any of the chemical medicines you don't need heavy medicines just do these things and see the magic happening in your body if you are suffering from this do this Come back to this channel, come back to this video because this video is going nowhere. Give your feedbacks on the comments down below so that they can be confident that these simple remedies, simple herbs, simple changes in diets can do magic for you. I'm very hopeful that this video is going to be helpful for many people. I'll be waiting for your feedbacks in the comments down below. Smile more, stay happy, stay healthy because smiling is going to reduce stress and this will also help you in fighting with herpes stay happy stay healthy